Okay, well, we're going to give this a, a straight run through. Uh, this is Russ McClay. And the purpose of this video is to show how you can play the Chris Marker uh, CD-ROM, the English version of In Memory, using a Macintosh emulator via web. Um, you know, Chris Marker, as anybody who knows who he was, was way ahead of his time. And really, in memory, what it is uh, is really like almost like a virtual self. Uh, Dr. Timothy Leary, the uh, the uh, kind of uh, what can we say, the uh, outcast, uh, was also way ahead of his time, and he talked about how digital media could serve as a way of preserving yourself. You know, kind of a way of making uh, yourself immortal. And I think Chris kind of did it with him in memory, his CD-ROM, but unfortunately, um, you know, it's made literally 25 years ago, and, um, you know, attempts have been made to preserve it, but it all have failed now. I think there was one uh, attempt, you know, to make a, a flash site. Of course, flash died, so that, that went away. So I'm, I'm going to try to... <laughs> keep this moving as fast as possible. Basically what I did is I found a way to see the English version of In Memory. Uh, so the way this starts is that on archive.org there is an ISO here on this page and I'll in this video in the comments of it on YouTube I will uh, put these links. So here what we have is a, um, uh, a post and it is an ISO, and it says Macintosh and Windows compatible. Now, I downloaded this ISO, and I tried it, but it, it wants to install QuickTime, and it just doesn't run. It doesn't work, basically, on Windows. I don't know if it does on the Mac or not, but it doesn't work on Windows at all. Well, you can kind of get it sort of to work, but it's, it, it's a disaster. Now, the first clue to how to get this work was this very uh, excellent post by Lustick. And he said, use this emulator. And he gives a link. And again, I'll post this in my YouTube uh, comments. So here we have this emulator. And so this, I picked this up as a clue. But I didn't want to use this ISO. I felt there was a problem with this ISO. So on archive.org, there is this other ISO. And again, I'll post these links. Uh, that has uh, two, two uh, ISO images. So we see an English and a, a French ISO. Okay. And what this guy says is, you know, the English will only work on the Mac and the... French ISO will only work on a Mac, blah, blah, blah. You can read this right here. I'm not going to read all of this. So the idea here is with that emulator, if you load both of those ISOs on this emulator, you can get it to work. And I did get it to work. And it's amazing. And I'm really happy that I got it to work. And I'm going to show kind of how you do it. Um, you can probably figure it out yourself. But let's go through this. So the first step is you want to load up the, the emulator, which to me is, <laughs> I mean, it's almost like magic how this thing works. An emulator is, it's going to emulate a uh, Macintosh OS 9. So here it is. And again, once more, I'm going to post all these links in my comments. So we see here Mac uh, OS 9 app. So we're going to go ahead and load this. I'm using uh, Google Chrome um, because I don't actually use Google Chrome that much. So it's a pretty clean browser for me. I use Brave for anybody wondering. Uh, you need to pay attention when you load this to this little green bar down here, uh, down in the lower right to show that it's loading because, you know, obviously it's going to be slow and you, you need to give it time to catch up with things. So now we have this OS is loaded. 
and I'm sure for Mac enthusiasts, this is probably something really cool, but I'm a kind of a PC guy, so I don't really use it. The next thing we want to do, the steps are really simple, is you need to go back to this page here. These two ISOs, you need to download both of them. And then you load up this Macintosh emulator. And what you're going to do is you're going to drag those ISOs onto the screen, which will mount them. Once they're both mounted, then you can click and run the, uh, the English version. And so we're going to demonstrate how, how, how we do that. Uh, we'll go here to here, and I have both ISOs here uh, going to, uh, we have the English ISO and the French ISO. Now, the way I did it, the order, I don't think it matters, but the order that I did it was I, I first, you know, I copied uh, the uh, French ISO, and then I copied the English ISO. Now, as far as I know, and it seems pretty obvious, but these ISOs, what they're going to do is they're going to, when you start loading them, they're going to load the data off your file, off your local computer. So obviously it's going to be slow. The other thing is, is the application, uh, the original CD-ROM was slow anyway, just because of the, you know, it's 25 years ago. So um, here we go. We've got in memory here. I'm going to double click on this. And we can see here the home stack, okay? And hey, there's the cat, Guillaume. Guillaume, or however you pronounce that. So I'm gonna click on this icon, and now it starts. It's probably pretty loud. I'll try to tone it. So you've got the, now we've got the English CD-ROM running. And I'm only going to demonstrate a little bit of this, but I'm going to go in now. It's kind of hard to see the, the uh, cursor. You can see here. And what I did is I went up here at the top and I kind of came down to it. I don't know if my cursor's being recorded. But there, I'm going to click on that first one. And... Okay, there we go. That's the main screen of, of the CD uh, ROM in English. Now, the trick here is if you really want to get into this, and this is really like a very deep game. I mean, you have to be a Chris Marker freak to want to go into this because um, it's, it's really slow, the performance and everything. But... What we see here is he's divided it up into these sections. So we have travel, we can see here. I'm gonna move the cursor over this next icon. And then it's museum. And go over here, this first one over here. And it's cinema. And you can see I move the cursor over the icons, but it takes a while for it to catch up. And you just have to be really super patient if you wanna see any of this stuff. Um, and now, uh, okay, that first one there is like, okay, see, there's a lag, you know, so I move it back over here, it's photography, and then I move it back over here on the tank, and it's war, and I move it over here to the owl, and it's poetry. So we'll look at, uh, I'm going to give a demonstration of one of them. So here we have uh, cinema, so I'm going to click on that. Okay, vertigo. Anybody who's into Chris Marker knows that Vertigo is a very critical movie in his memories. Now we can see, you know, uh, there's three items here. We can see the uh, little QuickTime icon. I'm not sure if that's going to show up on my recording or not. And I'm going to click on Vertigo. Okay. And the trick really is to wait for it. You have to wait for it. So I'm going to go ahead, now I'm going to click on this, and you have to kind of like move the, the, the cursor around. If you notice, if I move it up, I think this will show up on the recording, but if you move it up to the edge, you'll see a right uh, or red triangle. And if I move it to the 
bottom, you'll see a blue triangle. And if I move it over to the left or right, I don't see anything because it means there's nothing there. But I'm going to click here on this. Okay, so you could hear a little bit of music there. and Now, now we have some text. You need to wait if it's going to, you know, some of these screens are going to load by themselves. You just don't know. In this case, I don't think it is going to do that. So I move over to the right and I can see the red uh, cursor. So I'm going to click on that because it hasn't done anything yet. And now we get the next screen and see then it's doing some other stuff. It kind of went, went a little bit fast there. Um, I'm not sure why it did that. Yeah, it's kind of doing it a little bit too fast. Let's go back, see if we can get it to pause. Okay, so we go back to Vertigo. I move it out of the screen. The cursor out of the screen, and now it's staying there, so that's pretty cool. Again, you know, the navigation is if you move to the top of the screen, you have a red uh, cursor, a uh, triangle, and to the left, and um, to the right, and down below. If we click below, uh, it goes back, you know. And if we want to go totally back, I think we just go to the top and click the top, and then we go back to the main menu. So, you know, what I have shown here is a way that you you know, you can play the, the uh, English CD-ROM on your PC using this PC, I'm mean, sorry, uh, Mac emulator, um, which is really great. I mean, this is, uh, anybody who's into Chris Marker knows about, you know, in memory will know that this is literally a, uh, you know, the library of Chris's memories, everything. Uh, well, not everything, but <laughs> a tremendous amount of uh, interesting information. The other thing I, I want to show that's very cool is that if you if you move the cursor down the bottom of the screen, you can go full screen, and you know you can get out of this by hitting Escape. And now let's just pick another thing to go into. Let's say Memory. Okay, I'm going to go into Memory and uh, see what happens here, if anything. Okay, it didn't do anything there because that's not actually not a menu item. So we have to pick something that's a menu item. There we go, memory. Okay, now we're in memory. Move the cursor out of the, the uh, inner side there. What is a Madeline? Okay, that's pretty cool. You know, that's related to Al Alfred Hitchcock and all of that. Um, okay, now I'm going to... looks like I can click on the center or I could also go to the right. I'll click on the center and see what happens. This is a Madeline. Okay. Again, you need to wait. And now, you know, text comes up. It's pretty cool. And um, go to the next page. Want to see Vertigo's Way or other Madeline's? So you get some cool choices. <laughs> Here, let's try this one. <laughs> Friendly warning. Okay, so he's going back, doing the same thing over again. Go back here, and we do this. Out of it. Okay, so it's it's doing... Kind of lost the... <laughs> lost it there a little bit. So anyhow, it's lots of fun to explore. Uh, to get out of this main, uh, this uh, full screen, you just hit escape. You should be able to hit escape or up here. Okay, move the mouse up, click that, and you're back into the, um, you know, the reduced frame size of the Mac emulator. Um, and there you go. So there, if you want to know how to see Chris Marker's CD-ROM in memory on a PC, uh, this is the only way that I know how to do it, and uh, 
I'm really happy to have found it because I'm going to be doing some exploring. Incidentally, there is on YouTube, if you do do a search, somebody had the the CD and they did like a four hour presentation of it by clicking through all the menus, but you don't get to interact with it. But this, you have full interaction with it. And, uh, you know, hopefully someday somebody's gonna get this and, and redo it. You know, it wouldn't cost that much money, but it's just, Chris is such an obscure artist and a talent and a genius that um, it'll be hard to convince somebody to invest, I think, into that project. So we have this in the meantime. There you go. I hope it's helpful to somebody. Russ McClay, praising and uh, acknowledging Chris Marker and in memory.